The king is aware of their presence. Uh, he is, your grace. He's okay. currently in his chambers. At I the... mean, unfortunately, someone has to kill the king. I mean, he's part of the faith militant now. His ass is brainwashed. Grace. Welcome to Let's Watch TV. Thank you for clicking on the video. All right, so I'm up to episode eight. And listen, yo, I've said it many times. This show's crazy. If you would have told me at the end of season one that at some point in time I would be looking forward to or rooting for Arya and the Hound to reunite, I would have been like, that makes zero sense. But here we are, season six, and I cannot wait for Arya and the Hound to reunite. <laughs> Yo, I mean, this show's crazy. Anyways, let's check it out. My firstborn son. My child, King. Hush. Fight no more, sweet child. Your wars are won. In seventh heaven, I'll see you once more. But now I seek vengeance on Sansa the whore. Imp. And my brother, the imp, who killed his own king. Born amongst lions, I'll curse from within. I will slay him, I swear. With noose or with knife. Though it take me a fortnight, a moon, or my life. Mm. Arya got a channel in some of that anger. The Arya sneak back there, all stabbed up. Yeah, hey. You're good at that. Where did you learn? I'm a jealous woman. I've always liked bad men, and they've always liked me. They'd come home, wherever home was that night, stinking of some whore's perfume. So we'd fight, and I'd put a hole in them. And you stab them? And I'd feel terrible. And then patch them up? So I'd patch them up. I got good at patching them up. What? And good at putting holes in them. <laughs> and that. What happened to the actress? <laughs> the one who wanted you dead? Bianca. She killed her ass. time finding work as an actress after what I did to her face. Oh, shit. Mm. I never did learn to cook. Oh, damn. But eat. Eat you need it. <laughs> the company's moving on to Pentos soon. You should come with us. What's left for you here? You wouldn't be safe. Yeah. Not while she's looking for me. Who? No one. He doesn't have a name. <laughs> Where will you go? Essos is east and Westeros is west. But what's west of Westeros? I don't know. The edge of the world, maybe. I'd like to see that. Yeah. She's got big dreams. <clears throat> thing about Gattins, right, is he used to be pretty. I was a famous kisser. You allowed to know how to kiss proper? Of course we do. This is for masters, this technique. You're not ready. I'm ready. Right. Now pay attention. You put your left hand on the back of the lady's head. Hmm? Right hand. Holds the smaller the lady's back, like so. Uh, you can just tell me, I Very don't need right, a demonstration. You take your middle finger, yeah. and you jam it right up her bunghole. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm killing his ass. Close. I am killing <laughs> his ass. Like pussy to me. I mean, that's his own fault for letting him so close. <laughs> the hell you think Go this is? That, uh oh. You? You're fuck. He ain't even gonna say no words. <laughs> mm. Damn! Oh, shit. Oof. Where's the other one? The one with the yellow cloak? Fuck you! 
Those are your last words. Fuck you. Come on, you can do better. Ouch. <laughs> your shit are dying, you know that. <laughs> Damn! How can anyone not be rooting for the hound at this point in time? I'd call that a successful gambit, would you? Look around. This city has come back to life. You made a pact with fanatics. I did, and it worked. I'm going to miss you. I know. I hope you're right about this expedition of yours. If I don't return, you'll know I was wrong. Damn, hold up. Where are Eric's going? I missed that? I must have forgot. We need friends in Westeros, and we need ships. Most of all, we need our queen. She'll come back. I'll walk the rest of the way myself. I can't go off on a secret mission in the company of the most famous dwarf in the city. Ferris! I mean, he's the most famous dwarf in the world. The most famous dwarf in the world. Wow. I mean, I promise you, I've never seen this show before. I'll be making myself nervous with predicting these lines, man, for rip. My man, Tyrion. Your Grace, several members of the Faith Militant have been permitted entry to the Red Keep. Have been permitted. They demand to see you, Your Grace. Who permitted them inside the Red Keep? The King is aware of their presence. Uh, he is, Your Grace. He's currently in his chambers. At I the... mean... Unfortunately, someone has to kill the king. I mean, he's part of the faith militant now. His ass is brainwashed. Your Grace, His Holiness the High Septon wishes to speak with you at the Great Sept of Baelor. His Holiness the High Septon is welcome to see me here in the Red Keep. Your uh -huh. Grace, this is not a request. You are asking me for something I'm refusing. The High Septon commands you. Are you sure you want to refuse him? Yes, I am. If you refuse to come of your own free will. Y'all really think y'all about to do this? Move aside, sir. Order your man to step aside or there will be violence. Duh. I choose violence. <laughs> what he thought that was going to do. <laughs> He just Mortal Kombat-ed his ass. Please tell His High Holiness he's always welcome to visit. <laughs> I mean, I am officially a fan of the bad guys. Looks like a siege, my lady. That was glorious. You have a keen military mind, Pod. What? Damn, I've been, you know what? I was thinking to myself the other day, because Game of Thrones is always on my damn brain while I was at work. What's going lady. on in the pod? My lady. Here he is. Who goes there? State your business. My name is Brian of Tarth. Please inform Sir Jamie Lannister I've come to speak with him. Oh yeah, she good. Tell him I have his sword. I'll, you know what? I, how the hell did I forget about this? The whole Jamie. You're getting a bit old to be a squire, aren't we? Bro, you better stop playing with me, man. <laughs> but I had forgot I'm about the whole Jamie and Brian, you know, uh, part of the story. Now. That Not was yet. phenomenal. <laughs> they in there? Uh huh. You think they're fucking? What? No. I mean, they might be. Why not? I'd fuck her. Hey. You'd fuck her, wouldn't you? I'm her squire. Oh. <laughs> well, he'd fuck her, that's for sure. <laughs> and she'd <laughs> fuck him, don't you think? The way she looks at him. The way all women look at him is frankly irritating. <laughs> I preferred working with a little brother on that account. Hey. Come on. 
The other one with the magic cup. Whoa, whoa, broad, broad. Two of her now. Two, two. She's training me to fight. Is she? Then how come an old like me can still sneak up and murder you? That's a different sort of fighting. Now that's the truth, isn't it? You want to learn that sort of fighting? All right, let's start with your footwork. Show me your stance. Ugh. Now listen to me, bud. See how you feel about a yard apart. Hey, I knew he was going to slap him. Assume everyone wants to hit you, because they do, Pot. Everyone wants to hit a fucking squire. <laughs> do it again. Look at Pot's face. Come on, don't so. I never thought you'd find her. Well, I'm proud of you. I am. You fulfilled your oath to Catelyn Stark against all odds. Of course, my sister wants Sansa dead. So there is that complication. What the hell are you doing here? I've come for the Blackfish. Lady Sansa desires to take her ancestral seat back from the Boltons and assume her rightful position as Lady of Winterfell. With what army does she plan on taking Winterfell? The Tully army. They're a bit occupied at the moment. I was sent here to reclaim River Run, currently defended by the Tully rebels, so you can see the conundrum. The Tullys are rebels because they're fighting for their home. River Run was granted to the phrase by royal decree. As a reward for betraying Rob Stark and slaughtering his family. Exactly. I mean. You're a knight, Sir Jamie. I know there is honor in you. I've seen it myself. I'm a Lannister. Don't ask me to betray my own house. I do no such thing. Take River Run without bloodshed. Allow me to enter River Run under a flag of truce. Let me try to persuade the Blackfish to give up the castle. Why would he abandon his ancestral home? Because you'll allow him to lead the Tully forces safely north. I mean... Have you ever met the Blackfish? <laughs> no. He's even more stubborn than you are. He won't listen, but his men might. Not everybody wants to die for someone else's home. I need your word. If I persuade him to abandon the castle, you'll grant us safe passage north. You have my word. You gave it to me for a purpose. I have achieved that purpose. She did do some damage with it. It will always be yours. One last thing, Sir Jamie. Yes, Lady Brienne. Should I fail to persuade the Blackfish to surrender? And if you attack the castle? Honor compels me to fight for Sansa's kin. Of course it does. Uh. To fight you. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Please don't come to that. I've said no three times already. I have a yeah. signed letter from your niece, Sansa Stark. I haven't seen her since she was a child. I don't know her signature. I don't know you. And I will not surrender. Yeah. Double the guards tonight. If you think I'm abandoning my family seat on the Kingslayer's word of honor, you're a bloody fool. Riverrun cannot stand against the Lannisters and the Freys. We can stand longer than your one-handed friend thinks we can. He's <laughs> not my friend. No? Yeah, he is. Who gave you permission to cross the siege line and enter the castle? Who gave you that sword with a gold lion on a pommel? Sir Jamie kept his word to your niece, Catelyn Stark. He sent me to find Sansa to help her as Catelyn wanted. He gave me this sword to protect her. That is what I have done and I will continue to do until the day I die. I don't have enough men to help her take Winterfell. You have more than she does. She wants her home back, I understand that. But this is my home. And if Jamie Lannister wants it, he can bloody well take it the way everyone else does. Um. There's to be a royal announcement. There is. Why wasn't I informed? There is to be a royal announcement in the throne room at this very moment. Where are you going? To 
stand by my son? Your place is in the gallery. With the other ladies of the court. I mean, the disrespect that's happening right now, it's crazy. All right. The father judges us all. If you break his laws, you will be punished. After conferring with His Holiness, the High Septon, we have determined that Loris Tyrell and Cersei Lannister's trial will be held in the Great Sept of Baelor on the first day of the Festival of the Mother. Furthermore, after much prayer and reflection, the Crown has decided that from this day forward, trial by combat will be forbidden throughout the Seven Kingdoms. The tradition is a brutish one, a scheme devised by corrupt rulers in order to avoid true judgment from the gods. Cersei Lannister and Loris Tyrell will stand trial before seven septons as it was in the earliest days of the faith. Seven blessings to all. <laughs> King Tommen. I mean... Oh, now yes. he's surrounded by guards at all time? That old rumor you told me about. My little birds investigated. Is it just a rumor or something more? More. Oh. Much more. Hold up, what are they talking about? Why don't you drink? Why don't either of you ever drink? Unsullied never drink. Why not? Rules. And who made these rules? Your former masters? Those miserable old Come on, shits didn't Warrior. want you to be human. Have a drink Take a little sip. Me. I have tried wine before. It made me feel funny. That's how you know it's working. Here's to our queen. Anyone not drinking is disrespecting our queen. Mm, gotcha. To Daenerys Stormborn. Long may she live. Ah, oh, shit. This about to be a party. One day, after our queen has taken the Seven Kingdoms, I'd like to have my own vineyard. Make my own wine. I mean, the makes sense. The delight. Ugh. Only my close friends could drink it. Tell me a joke, Miss Sandy of Nath. I do not know any jokes. I was going to say. Right. Three lords walk into a tavern. A Stark, a Martell, and a Lannister. They order ale. But when the barkeep brings them over, each of them finds a fly in his cup. The Stark reaches into his cup pulls out the fly and shouts spit it out you wee shit spit it out it. it's funnier in westeros a joke is like a story Torquemada. not a true story necessarily a story that's supposed to make you laugh ideally not at the moment perhaps Sunday, do you like Kramer the wine? looked at him like he is out of his damn mind. Tell a joke. Two translators are on a sinking ship. The first okay. says, Do you know how to swim? The second says, No, but I can shout for help in 19 languages. Ah! <laughs> 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 That is the worst joke I ever heard. You don't even know what oh a joke is. Oh my Soldier goodness. Soldier of my life, you think I never hear a joke. You lied to us. I make that joke. was the funniest thing Grey Worm has ever said. <laughs> <laughs> More jokes. <laughs> I once walked into a brothel with a honeycomb and a You see what alcohol does? Look at everybody joking says, and laughing. Valarimadisis! 
Man, so we just start to have a good time. Somebody got to come messing it up. Who is this? The masters have come for their property. Oh, because uh, Daenerys not there with the dragons? Ah, oh, shit. Lord Edmure. My uncle will never surrender the castle, sir. Whatever game you're playing. The Blackfish is an old man. A good death is all he can hope for. But you? You have a child now, I've heard. A son. You sigh out on your wedding night. You're a potent man. A son I've never met. <laughs> but I do what I do. Born of a wife. That I haven't seen since our first night together. You should be with them both. I can arrange that, you realize. But you you imagine yourself a decent person. Is that it? After you've, really? you've massacred my family, kept me in a cell for years, stolen our lands. I'll remind you that our houses are at war. I'm sorry if this conflict has inconvenienced you, but rebelling against the crown does have consequences. Says the man who shoved his sword through his king's back. Did I give you the impression that this was a negotiation? It's not. Uh. You're a fine looking fella, aren't you? <laughs> mm. They got to do with anything. Yeah. Your golden armor. How do you live with yourself? All of us have to believe that we're decent, don't we? I was your sister's prisoner once. Yeah. I admired her far more than her husband or her son. Do you think I care whom you admire? And no, I don't. I believe I'm you anyway because you're my prisoner. You don't have a choice. <laughs> the love she had for her children. <laughs> I was a little awed by it. it. Reminded me of my sister. Huh? She loved her children. I suppose all mothers do, but Catelyn and Cersei, there's a fierceness you don't often see. They'd do anything to protect their babies. You didn't come here to talk about our sisters. I love Cersei. She needs me. And to get back to her, I have to take River Run. I'll send for your baby boy. <laughs> And I'll launch you into River Run with a catapult. Because you don't matter to me, Lord Edmure. Mm, Jamie. It doesn't matter to me. The people in the castle don't matter to me. Only Cersei. Jamie getting dark. He get listen. He is a Lannister. I mean, you know, it's been like four seasons of good Jamie. We'll see. We'll see. Who goes there? Edmure Tully, son of Hoster Tully, and the rightful Lord of Riverrun. He's the Lord of Riverrun. I have to obey his commands. He's been there captive ever since they murdered his king at the Red Wedding. Why do you think the people who murdered his king at the Red Wedding would decide to let him come home? Don't let him in! He's my lord, my lord. I've sworn to serve the lord of Riverrun and obey his commands. You're not obeying Edmure's commands. You're obeying the fucking Kingslayer's commands. I demand entry. Lower the drawbridge and open the gate for Lord Edmure. Aye, sir. I'll have your head. Or I surrender River Run. You are not lord of this castle, my lord. Lower the drawbridge! Uh, see that blind obeying shit? It's in trouble. Damn, yeah, does he immediately kill his uncle? Command all the forces within the castle to lay down their arms. Open the gates. My lord. Your lord has given a command. Find the blackfish. 
Put him in irons and hand him over to the Freys. Damn. Find it. Go on. Come with us. I've run before at the Red Wedding. I'm not running again. This is my family home. Come on, Your man. family is in the north. Come with us. Don't die for pride when you can fight for your blood. You'll serve Sansa far better than I ever could. Go on, now! I haven't had a proper sword fight in years. I expect I'll make a damn fool of myself. I mean, I expect the same damn thing. We found the Blackfish, my lord. He died fighting, my lord. Don't get me wrong, I understand Kenny's motivations. I just forgot that the Lannisters were had an alliance with the Freys. Damn. I was wrong, I admit it. That changes nothing. The Unsullied could mount a defense off the beachhead if the slavers No more talking from you. Your talking gave us this. And I have acknowledged <laughs> that I'm trying to, to tell me what the army should do. You do not know what the army should do. We will not go to the beach. If we go to the beach, the masters will take the pyramid. The pyramid is the only place in the city we can defend. We stay here. We wait for them to come to us, and we fight them. Oh, that was a dragon landing up there. The queen has returned. Oh, 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 call your dragon back. Don't let him go. <laughs> the hell's going on here? The game. The fuck you doing here? Chasing them. You? Hanging them. Any particular reason? There are men. They attacked a nearby sept and murdered the villagers. Why do you want them? Same reason. They killed a friend of mine. They're mine. It's the Brotherhood's good name they've dragged through the dirt. Fuck your name, they're mine. Killed you once before, Dundarian. Happy to do it again. Shit. Drop that arrow, you bloody girl. Tougher girls than you have tried to kill me. Hmm. Facts. You can have one of them. Two. <laughs> wow, I mean, who knew the Hound was going to be my favorite character? No, 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 no. We're not butchers. We hang them. Hanging? There's the punishment in that. They die. They he wanted to hack their ass to pieces. Except this one here. <laughs> I've only got one of them. No. Chop off one hand. I gave you two and <laughs> three out of respect for your loss. That's generous. Bunch of nances. There was a time I would have killed all seven of you just to gut these three. You're getting old, Clegane. The hound is that dude. You ought to join us. We could use you. We're here for a reason. The Lord of Light is keeping Beric alive for a reason. We are part of something larger than ourselves. Half the horrible shit in this world gets done for something larger than ourselves. Yeah. Cold winds are rising in the north. And you're going to go stop them. We need good men to help us. Last time you saw me, you wanted to execute me. 
the Lord of Light gave you the power to defeat me. Why? <laughs> I beat you because I'm better than you, Beric. Ah, you're probably right. You're a fighter. You were born a fighter. Good and bad, young and old. The things we're fighting will destroy them all alike. You can still help a lot more than you've harmed Clegane. It's not too late for you. Oh, damn. Lady Crane? <laughs> Shit. Maybe Lady Crane got some skills. Damn. If you'd have done your job, she would have died painlessly. What the hell did she do to her? Dead. The many faced god was promised a name. And now he's been promised another name. Yours. <laughs> Damn, she jumped over that shit smooth as hell. I mean, I doubt she's running like that with stab wounds to her stomach, but. I will let it ride. But Arya, if you could run like that, that means you could fight. I'm going to need you to turn around and whoop her ass. Oh, shit. Hold up. <laughs> that chick ain't no joke. Shit. I don't know. That. If she go fight like somewhere where it's dark so she can have a little bit of an advantage. Because a couple episodes ago, I see how she had went into a dark room. I thought she was, like, setting up a trap. Honestly, I feel like she messed up. Because when you take your... Look, look. Look at this. Man, she wants some old Terminator 2 shit. She just wants some old Terminator 2 shit. But I feel like if you take your eyes off of her, that's when you can lose her, because then she just becomes anybody. Mario, <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Uh. You just opened up all your stitches. trail to follow ever I think Arya is playing her ass it will all be over soon on your knees or on your feet haven't we been through this already that won't help you huh. I thought the credits was about to come up. I was about to be so damn angry. Meanwhile, what the hell happened? What are you doing? Putting her face on the wall? told her to kill me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> but here you are. 
dead. And there she is. Finally, a girl is Noah. A girl is Arya Stark of Winterfell. And I'm going home. All right, all right, another one down. Uh, you, listen, I like the way that ended, but at the same time, I do really wish I would have got a fight between Arya and the Faceless Chick. That would have been that would have been special. But listen, Arya is just a flat out deadly assassin now. So I'm trying to think in my head, like, where does her story go? Like, how does she get back into the main storyline with everybody else? You know what I'm saying? Like, when she reunites with. Sansa and everybody else like what's Arya's role gonna be I can't wait to find that out and I mean you know again I said this before I feel bad wishing death upon a child because King Tommen is still a child right but the model line is he gotta go he has to go the prophecy from the witch for Cersei has to come true two of her children are already dead I'm going to need for the prophecy to just go ahead and finish up because his ass is getting on my nerves. I mean, to no end. You know, what the funny thing is, I really do believe that I am more irritated with him than I ever was with Joffrey. I mean, at least Joffrey was just, you, I mean, you, I, I don't know how to explain it, but again, I am far more irritated with Tommen than Joffrey. It is what it is. Anyways, man, like I said, excellent episode. Episode 9 is up next. Y'all know what that means. Come back and check me out. Peace.